Today we will read from Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 55. O Manogya Vitali, girl with a beautiful heart. O Sadayu, merciful girl. Will that beautiful, blessed day come when this maid servant of yours will massage your feet and Sri Rupa Manjari takes care of your hands? O Manogya Krita. Girl with a beautiful heart. Oh, Sadaye, merciful girl. Will that beautiful, blessed day come when this may servant of yours will massage your feet? And Sri Rupa Manjari takes care of your hands. Sri Raghunatha, thus, is agitated by feelings of love. <laughs> Sri Raghunatha Das is agitated by feelings of love in separation. He is deeply absorbed in his Varupavesh and he has no other aim the Swaminages, Lotus Feet. In Raja Vilasa Stala, he says, My heart is very agitated by remembering even a drop of the sweet divine nectar ocean that is the Yugala Kishore. Yeah. The Acharyas are our example. Our lives should be completely in allegiance to them. Our lives should be completely in allegiance to them. It is the nature of greed that it will not let a person in a peace until he has gotten the object of his desire. This means that when we think of something for a moment, and the mind is drawn to something else in the next moment. We cannot really speak of genuine greed. When the aspirant 
performs bhajan in allegiance to the acharyas. A tiny drop of their vast devotional greed may become infused in his heart. How sweet are the activities of Sriman Mahaprabhu's associates. Maybe we can stop a little bit here. Does someone wants to say something? So this is, so I want to share a little bit. <coughs> Sometimes people asking, where oh, yeah, greed is coming? Spiritual greed. Because for Nanga Bajan, we need genuine greed. So yesterday, we are discussing uh, this day we are discussing this greed come from previous sanskara also here uh, ananta das baba said The practicing devotee performs bhajan in allegiance to the Acharya. In the, I think in, in the follow of the footstep of Acharya. Then a tiny drop of their vast devotion group may become infused in his heart. Okay. Yeah. So uh, a few days ago, uh, Mahanidi uh, Madan Gopal Baba I told us at the time of Diksha, the Guru Dev uh, put in our Bhakti Rata BJ. And this is uh, actually this Bhakti uh, combined uh, Sambi Shakti and uh, Pradini Shakti. Uh, Sambit Shakti is, is knowledge or awareness. It is like a soul has nature. Uh, soul has consciousness. So if we consciousness of something, then we could not, we could know some information from this one. Even though we see something, but uh, we did not, if we concentrate something, even though we we are watching, we are seeing, but we did not recognize it. So this kind of this sambit shakti by the, this by this sambit shakti we could know we could not kind of feel. And we can we 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 can kind of 
no, no realize. And Flani Shakti is coming from Radharani. And Prabhupada said, pleasure giving potency. So whatever we feel some happiness, some blissfulness, this also coming from Radharani, any happiness. So Guru Devs, at the time of Diksha, Guru Dev infuse this, uh, this flooding, uh, infuses through mantra and give it to the power who could know, who could taste, who could realize. Someone who is fortunate can receive it and distribute it. So it is, we may understand if we follow instruction of Acharyas, we follow his footstep, then this greed of Raghavajan or service at the lotus feet of our Swami Shri Madhira Dharani. will increase, increase. That's it. After hearing this explanation, my, you know, this, this kind of feeling is coming to How sweet are the activities for Sriman Mahaprabhu associates, whether they were householders or renunciates. They were all free from attachment to sense gratification. Their auspicious decision into the material world was meant for distributing tangible devotional experience and detachment from sense gratification. So we can see here that Mahaprabhu had a different associates, but the most of them were actually householders. Sometimes we can have conception that only renunciants can practice bhakti, can attain the goal of bhakti. But we can see here from the example of associates of Mahaprabhu, that most of them practically was householders. But which kind of householders? They were all free from attachment to sense gratification. And they descended in this material world just to distribute devotional, their own devotional experiences and also detachment from sense gratification. Yes. 
actually in through their own examples they show what does it mean seva sadaka rupena sida rupena chakraki from outside they were serving with mood of detachment but inside in their spiritual identities they serve and relish devotional experiences and then they distribute it to the rest of the world to be our examples every mouthful of food causes nourishment satisfaction and cessation of hunger in bodily consciousness i cannot understand that i am radha's main servant I just like to be connected with my own. Shinaratam Thakur sings in Prema Bhakti Chandrika. The senses that dwell in our bodies are so many enemies. Nobody cares to stop them. I don't care to stop them. My eyes hear, but don't. No, my ears is the mistake. My ears hear, but don't listen. and my heart knows but doesn't realize one thing is for sure this body cannot stay so we can notice here what guru did is very often is saying that there's difference between hearing and listening and different kinds of hearing sometimes we think that we are hear something but it goes in one ear and goes through the other ear and this is not real listening real listening is when we drink with our ears and what we hear goes directly to the heart then the process of relishing is starting sarva sometimes i'm listening certain subject but in the same time i'm select what i like and what i don't like and this is not proper listening so we need proper association to learn how to hear 
and how to relish with our heart. Then every mouthful of food, spirits of food, which is coming in our ears, can be nourishment, satisfaction, and cessation of hunger. I'm chewing the thorns of sense gratification like a camel who cuts his mouth and tongue by chewing thorns instead of eating the mango pits of the ocean. Yeah. Like the cuckoo. cuckoo. I'm burning to death in the fire of Maya, but still I will not relish the nectar of devotion. Srila Narutama sings, I consider the poison of sense gratification to be happiness. Although I should know it to be miserable. Taste the nectar of Govinda's subject and associate with his devotees. No loving devotion to be real. Govinda's again, again. I consider the poison of sense gratification to be happiness. Although I should know it to be miserable. Taste the nectar of Govinda's subject and associate with his devotees. Uh -huh. No loving devotion to be real. Govinda's service is bliss and the lack of his service is misery. I desire service being surrounded by the Sakis. That service contains the greatest bliss. I desire service being surrounded by the Sakis. That service contains the greatest bliss. When you love God, divine remnants of that love will be scattered throughout the universe. Then you can experience universal love as it is. Wow. Then the yes. When you love God, 
divine remnants of that love will be spread throughout the universe. Yeah. I brand it. Please, will the you have to explain <laughs> Well, I see. I see my <laughs> Akanda Mangalata means where the whole place you are only there. That is that. <laughs> Can I say it? So everything emanated from the road. Ahan Sarvashya Prabhupada. Everybody is our living entity is Part and parcel of the road. Actually, living our giving entity, everybody is that your brother. Yeah. So if we love Lada's Moha, then we could understand everybody. It's rather dancing. So we can see everywhere in the relationship of Radha Mohan. Then automatically, if we love Radha Mohan, then we could love everybody. Yeah. So if we love Father, then automatically we love father's sons, daughters, and also relatives because we are related with father or mother. We could see in that relationship. We can see Radha's love everywhere. Even it seems material love or even animals love, any love comes from Radharani. So this by the master of Nitai Gora Prema Data Nitai Gora. So this love emanate from now all over the universe. So if we are fortunate enough, we could know that the remnants of love and feeling of love, or others love for Moha. Or Manjari's Baba. We also we can we could get a glimpse of that love. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Then you can experience universal love as it is. The spiritual world is sweet, material world is sweet, yeah. and sweet Krishna is even more sweet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sweetness will be pervading inside 
out. That is a day. Sunday. Sunday. That's the first thing of Mars girl. Sunday. What is Sunday? Is really a gift. But when we start looking that our mercy is always to us. That is Sadai. Sada is always Sada. Sada. Uh, uh, what is that Sada? Mercy. To connect with her. To our history. With all with that. And she is Sada. Mercy to the Creator. We are looking different places. <laughs> Our mind is going different ways. When I will fix there in our mind, and it's not possible without our sitting there. Sadhak there is not possible because this is conditioned body. When I sit there, is fixed as high as fixed. Then what happened? I see Sadai to my song. Then the spiritual world is sweet. Material world is sweet. And sweet Krishna is an even more sweet. Sweetness will be pervading inside out. <coughs> yeah. Swamini lies to rest on an excellent bed covered with a bluish sheet. This sheet is very dear to her simply because it is a black and reminds her of Shyama. She dreams of Shama and his sweetness makes her happy inside and outside. Rupa Manjali and Tulasi can both admire her charming beauty and serve her limbs at that time. How wonderful is their love for Swami. Yeah. So it's my same group for Raghunath, for the Raghunath. Ruf. Raghunath Pode, Koibe Akuti, Tabe Ami Boyo, say to Vera Prit. Explain. So, Gurudev is talking about this importance of understanding. Rupa Raghunatha Pade 
prohíbe la Krishna. And also, it said in Chaitanya Charitamrita, every chapter is finishing with this prayer. Rupa Raghunata Yare Asa. So, understanding who is Rupa can be possible if we really understand the teachings of Raguna. I don't want any more. Why Rupa Raghunath is there? Because this is the only thing to practice. Mm -hmm. Rupa Raghunath and our Guru Manji. Why I say navigator? We cannot leave navigator. He is not a goal, but he is a navigator. If you drive car and keep your navigator in home, it will not work. Every moment, eating, sleeping, taking bath, movement, navigator has to be there. Then navigation will happen. Turn to both seven. Rupa Raghunath Pade Hoive Akuti. Tabe Ami Bhujo Sayyidu Bharati. Means, Mahajan is telling one pointedness has to come. One pointed. Bring yourself one point in how to practice Rupa Madhuri Pada. Say more than Sampada. Say more Bhajan and Puja. What is my Bhajan and Puja? The path of Rupa Madhuri is not no Bhajan. <coughs> Bhajan miss that line. Yes, my Bhajan. What is my Pujan? That is my Puja. What is my Tapa? And what is my Brother? This is the highest tapa to keep mind 1.2. And to keep breath of fasting that I will not go out from that. That is the tapa. But I receive from my Guru my. I will follow in the lineage of Rupa Prabhupada. How they practice, that is the goal of Gloria. This means allegiance to Acharyas. <coughs> following the footsteps, giving the heart to Acharyas, following their emotions, their way of consciousness, how they are fixed. We cannot do without every day listening to their past. We are so much in different service. We use our senses and material circumstances of my life. We have to 
every day, every moment try to bring that. It will go out and out and out. And we have to try to fix one point. In. So our Acharya say is a practice of 24 7. This is the nature. If you escape very fastly without telling us, and we have to bring very smartly again in that. That is the way of fear. I'm listening but not understanding. Why? Because of my whole practice. I listen but I not clear the subject. Mind is going in many directions. She is waiting to give something, but we are not ready to receive it. What word is what? What's what? Manogya. She knows of our heart. And the, what is in my heart? When it will become on a cool one point, you can see my heart still there. I have to, I'm manogya. I have to make the heart favorable in our service. Simple practice. That is sadhana in the world. That sadhana we have to. So, the Manogya means uh, he knows uh, the heart of it. He knows the Manogya. Yeah, she, so he, much. he knows the uh, heart. I am so much. Be honest, honest. Mm. Where is my heart? She knows. I cannot hide from her. <laughs> Guru, this is actually revealing because always to hide something, always to cover ourselves is such a big endeavor. <laughs> Life is very complicated. Then. It's much more easy. They do not make complicated. I yes. make complicated. <laughs> <laughs> Because I make them make it uh, for my sense in journey and my lusty desire and policy of things. By, by the mercy of Guru Kripa, he gives the reason to understand. But the practice is important to go back. The same thing is when we are in the association of sadhus, they also know our mind and heart. Only the vibration to vibration that when we enter to sadhu. Only when see the vibration, they can see the aura 
You can see Himalayan. Guru was so powerful aura. He left around the world in 80 from his material body. How many years? 80 is done now. 40. 42. His aura is still. Active and alive. His service is so alive, so enlightened, without any disturbance, everything. Rupa and Tulasi's friendship is similar in this material world where they are known as Rupa Goswami and Raghunatha Das Goswami. Srila Raghunatha Das introduces himself as follows by writing in the end of his Vishaka Ananda Stotra. This garland of verses was strung by someone who subsists simply on serving the dust from Srimati Rupa Goswami's lotus feet <coughs> made the devotees who take shelter of him accept the fragrance of this garland. <coughs> it is described in Bhakti Ratnaka <coughs> that after reading Sri Rupa Goswami's play, Lalit Tamadava, which describes Sri Radhika's feelings of separation from Krishna, Shiva Raghunatha thus almost died of transcendental <coughs> agony. And just to save his life, Sri Rupa Goswami gave him his Dana Keli Kaumudi to read. One act play which deals with the blissful meeting of Radha and Krishna. This is the job of Pandit. Other no job. How to make meeting to my Swami, which is Prita. This is also a nice example, Gurudev, how these two friends, close friends, who has the same Ishtadev, are nourishing each other and helping each other. Yeah. Guru, same Ishtadev. 
who has a different, different history, you will see he has a different, different history. Guru is still there. He is a shishya. Yes. The normal. Then in Seva also, they can be there to them. This inspired Raghunatha Das to write his Jew like one act play named Dana Kelly Chintamani. Srila Rupa Goswami has also written a dedication to Raghunatha Das Goswami at the conclusion of his Dana Kelly Kaunti. O oh, Madhava, my friend, Raghunatha Das, has given up all other activities and is now living in a cottage on the bank of Radha, very anxious to exclusively serve you and she Radhika. You always cast your merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavan. And you fulfill all their desires. So please quickly make the tree of his Raghunath's aspirations bear fruit. <clears throat> These are some examples of their very intimate friendship. Rupa is praying in the house of Raghunatha and he's praying, please quickly make the tree of his aspirations bear fruit. Yeah. Like a superior, like a guru. Oh, Madhava, my friend, Raghunatha Das, has given up all other activities and is now living in a cottage on the bank of Radha, very anxious to exclusively serve you and Sri Radha. You always cast your merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavan and you fulfill all their desires. So, please. This is Sadai. You fulfill all your So, please. Quickly make the tree of his aspirations bear fruit. What is learning? That he's, he attained the goal. He attained his desirable ripen fruit. That his fruit of his desire ripen. And he be with Read again. brother. Oh, madam, 
he's praying to Krishna. Mm -hmm. My friend has given up all other activities and is now living in a cottage on the bank of Radha Kunda. Very anxious to exclusively serve you and Sri Radhika. You always cast your merciful glance on those who live in Vrindavan. And you fulfill all their desires. So please, quickly, make the tree of his aspirations bear a fruit. Tree of this fruit. Make him the tree of his fruit. Make so strong that he can, can create the tree branches of that Life, many branches, is present of that fruit. Understand? He can grow to help others. Sorry, the verses of the name 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 of the This is really amazing. This Guru David's explanation is really amazing for, for us. Because usually it is said, bear fruit means <coughs> Ragnatha does has Very anxious to exclusively serve you and Sri Radhika. Means Ragnatha's desires in the service of Yugaraki Show. So, literally meaning, bear fruit, Rupa, Go, Rupa Goswami, Rupa Manjari, praying only for Ragnatha dances bearing fruits. But the Guru Deva was saying, no, not only like that. Three will be many branches. Chaitanya's three also many branches. 
every branch has flower and also fruit. And manjari. And manjari. <laughs> so Guru was suggesting not, not only for Raghunathas Goswami, someone, someone who follow Raghunathas Goswami also could bear same fruit like him. Yeah. That is Guru Deva's suggesting the secret. This is really amazing for, for me. This also remember Mahaprabhu is like God. So Mahaprabhu said, so I have many fruits, but how can I distribute lonely? So please take it. Please distribute it. That is the mood of actually Rupa Raghunath. And Guru is blessing this. Yes. Because Rupa Goswami knows part of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Sri Chaitanya Mano Krishna. Uh-huh. Guru Dev knows part of Sri Rupa Raghunath. So Guru Dev also want to distribute this fruit to everybody who is very sincere and meek and humble. Someone who is meek and humble. This is really amazing. This fruit tree. Ah, tree. So this is, we, I could say, this is Chaitanya's tree. Karpa Bhriksha. Tulasi, Tulasi and Rupa both climb on the bed to serve their Swami. They are not at all shy. Their servant moves is mixed with the mood of friendship for Swami. Tulasi calls Swamini Manogya Hridaya, girl with a beautiful heart, literal. The word Manogya <coughs> means knowing. Gya, the mind, mana. Srimati knows what is on Rupa and Tulasi's mind. So she gives them this service. That, that is first word, what is uh, literally the word what is the first word for Radha Lago? Manokya. Manokya. She knows what is in the heart. And she knows our heart. <laughs> Manogya also means beautiful one. Who know the things and they are not beautiful. <laughs> the top feet, top most, who only can feel the vibe and all that. We only associate with the ugly, you <laughs> don't understand, and who understand, they are with you. 
that association is only good association. Who can help us? Who can understand my heart and my mind? And to help that way, that is the beautiful association. Right? So, Gurudev, we have to hanker for such an association with yeah. those persons who know our heart, not to escape from them. <laughs> Any realized school yeah. who is very close to someone who is being a religion, is the lineage of coming back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> We have to say to Japan to bring the battery, chargeable battery. We, we have charged We have? Yeah, just charge it. But they can bring actually and board that. At least we can do it. Just this one. <coughs> Charges or recharge to the this 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 one double A double A. I will take sure of this. Triple A are the small ones. Okay. Manokia also means beautiful one. Yeah. Her endless beauty illuminates the house, the bed, and the heart of the king carries. Only to the king carries. Her luster, that is. That is Radha Dasi, who oh, Anugata, who mm -hmm. never leave navigator, mm -hmm. and the goal is always fixed in her heart and mind. Any lollipop cannot catch them. That is <laughs> Many lollipop you see, I always see them. See so many lollipops, <laughs> big lollipops. How much it catches me? <clears throat> Be careful with this lollipop. Her luster has turned Shama Sundara. Golden. Wow. I love changing to some sutras in golden. Today, Jananda Maharaj is telling. So much love she gives to his lover, he becomes gold. <laughs> huh? He can see that. Much yes. Krishna cannot change it. Easy to change to golden and white to blue. But she changed with the golden color to the dark blue. You can imagine. How much she doesn't love you too. I think we we'll have to repeat that because we okay. are out of our minute. <laughs> Just have to repeat. I will repeat because internet was broke. She is the queen essence of Mahabhava personified. Yes. Uh, who has the Wi-Fi connected here? Not use, uh, or if you don't need to use, please switch it off or do airplane mode because otherwise we'll have problems with the internet. If 
too many devices are connected. Thank you. So can I suggest you something? Yes. Mm -hmm. You change this place uh, password. You know, this place, if you want to share the uh, uh, Zoom classes, you cannot use the connection here. Yeah, not not during the class, maybe. Mm -hmm. Like if, if you're not need, just put it on airplane mode or switch it off so that during the class we have enough uh, bandwidth. Otherwise, we are experiencing now since more devotees are here, we're experiencing this problem with the internet because more devices are connected. So please, if you can do this. Say in Italian to him also. Per favore, se we can't make an exception for he's getting the Italian translation, he's getting the Russian. No, the, they can sit in the first other mm -hmm. Then they, they will get the internet and here will go on. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. The separate connection in Prashadam was a different internet. Okay. You are not here, but for Prashadam, all internet is different. Here, internet is different, then it goes up and down. <coughs> Link break up. Everyone has to cut. That is why. She is the queen essence of Mahabhava personified. All poetic analogies about Srimati Radhika's beauty. Like her face defeating the moon in beauty. Her eyes defeating the lotus flowers. And her nose defeating the sesame flowers are ultimately futile. Futile. Only by her mercy, in the form of ecstatic love, she can be seen and felt in a heart, illuminated by Vishuddha Sattva, pure goodness. Whatever falls into an ocean of nectar becomes nectarian. Similarly, the garments, ornaments of Sri Radhika, who is the personification of Mahabhava, are also filled with Mahabhava. Yeah. The Mahajanas relish this and we taste their rents. <laughs> Sri 
Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami has written Radha is anointed with the fragrant ointment of affection towards Krishna. This makes her very fragrant body shine brightly. She takes her first bath in a stream of nectar of compassion. Her middle bath in the stream of nectarian youthfulness. Yeah. And her final bath in a stream of nectarian beauty. Then she puts on silk and blue sari made of her own bashfulness. Second, red garment consists of passionate love for Krishna. And her breasts are covered with the blows of loving pink. She is anointed with three ointments, vermilion of beauty, sandalwood pulp of love, of her girlfriends and the comfort of her lustrous smile. Her body is decorated with the mask pictures that represent Krishna's brilliant erotic. Her breath is made of hidden anger and opposition and scented powder of her calm, yet not calm attributes. Adorn her limbs. The red color of palm that represents her passionate love brightens her lips oh. and her eyes have eyeliner of the crookedness of love. Her body is adorned with all ecstatic ornaments such as Sudipta Satvikabhavas and Sanchari Bhavas like Harsha and so on. She is also adorned with 20 other bowels, such as Kila Kenchita. Her whole body is hung 
with the flower garlands of attributes. Her forehead is brightened by the beautiful tilaka of fortune. Prema Vaichitya is the jewel, and her heart is the locket. She places her hand on the shoulder of a girlfriend named Adolescence. Sri and she is surrounded by her sakis that represent her mental activities that are concentrated on Krishna's pastimes. We also associate with my mental activities. <laughs> She sits on a bed of pride in a boat of her aroma that is her body, always thinking of Krishna. Krishna's names, attributes, and glories are her earrings. She loves to hear about them. And Krishna's names, qualities, and glorious form. Uh, so, and the Krishna's names, qualities, and glories form the stream of her words. She makes Krishna drink the honey beverage called Shyama Rasa, erotic flavors. And she always fulfills all of Krishna's desires. She is a mind full of jewels of pure love for Krishna. And her body is filled with all incomparable attributes. O Bhavuka Bhakta Vrinda, sensitive devotees. This is the introduction to the embodiment of love for Krishna. Yeah. That is why the address. Manokya Hridaya is justified here. Srimati lies down on the bed prepared for her by Tulasi, like the queen of swans, Raja Amsi, lying on an ocean of milk. And join with the Mohan in her dream. She speaks, she laughs, and she turns on the other side in her dream. 
Although Rupa Manjari usually massages Srimati's feet, she has now mercifully given that service to Tulasi. And has taken to the service of Swamini's hands. Sri Banka Vikhari Vidya Lankara writes. And chanting because she cannot tolerate another person's misery is also called manokya. Swamini herself mercifully places her lotus feet on her to Lassie's chest. knowing how anxious she is to serve them. In Radha Rasa Shudanidi, verse 127, it's written, Her lotus feet pour the nectar of sweet rasa over the lotus-like hearts of devotees. That is why she is addressed here as Sadaya, or merciful girl. Knowing what is on Tulasi's mind, Swamini lifts her feet, upon her chest. <coughs> How intense is their feeling of minus. She takes her maid servants to her in all respects, calling them my Rupa, my Tulas. How blissful it is to hear all this. I want to speak of actually attaining this in truth. How mercifully Swamini lifts her lotus feet onto Rasa's chest. Sri Raghunatha experiences this and calls her Sadaye, merciful girl. How beautiful are Swamini's limbs. She sees Rasaraja, Sri Krishna, in her dream. Shyama pervades Swamini's dreams. How wonderful she relishes this. Each of her limbs blossoms up by relishing this sweet taste. The fortunate maidservant swims in an ocean of rasa. Suddenly, the vision vanishes. And Sri Raghunatha does pitiful praise for this devotional service. Allah, when will that beautiful day be mine? When will you engage your maidservant in massaging your feet 
while tears of loving ecstasy stream from her eyes and her girl and her friend she Rupamanjali will blissfully massage your beautiful lotus like hands. I beautiful hearted girl. Oh, merciful Radha, when will that blessed day come? Okay. This is the end. Very uh, uh, This is all to say. It is not mentioned here. Lupa Manjari is massaging lotus feet of Swami. <laughs> so when Turashi come, Lupa Manjari give that seva for Charana seva. Hey Turashi, you can do this Swami with lotus feet massage. I'll do I take care of Swamini's <coughs> lotus like hand. So Rupa Manjari is so merciful unto Torasi. Mm -hmm. So that Torasi could massage Swamini's lotus feet. And then Rupa, okay, I can take care of Swamini's hands. Mm -hmm. So another thing means also if Gurudev is giving us seva, it's big mercy. We have to understand this also. Any seva he gives us is big mercy. No? Yes, so therefore our position is always welcome any seva from Gurudev. Sometimes we are thinking, oh, clean the toilet, oh, what kind of seva, you know. Oh, this is a very tiny manual seva. No, any seva will they give us, we happily accept that seva. Or sometimes will they give us so much difficulty, oh, this seva is too high for me. No, we have to accept his, his masterful uh, seva, because any seva is, is kind of jewel, you know? And uh, if, if we face so much suffering, but if Guru Dev Breathe the suffering, make us greatest pleasure. Uh, this is Manjari. This is Gopinata Baya. This is Prashad. <laughs> Real mercy. To receive instruction for seven. Loving destruction and to do in a loving way. Yasha Prashad. Because many, many here. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Я хотел добавить, я говорю, 
Может ли мне ответить? Если вы Надо прийти. Надо прийти. Надо А так меня не слышно. О, oh, can you hear me now? Рады, рады? Рады? О, great, great. The button now, the button, switching button is uh, working, so I can translate. Yes. А. <смех> меня, меня потрясло, что вот описание, то, что читал, да, комментарий Ананта, как главы же, то, что читал до Уранда, да, и это подобно вот это, да, заклинанию, реально, каким-то тантрическим заклинанием, вот это вот описание красоты Петратка, умощена мазью, да, привязанности, одета в узкую застенчивость, вот это описание, да, это, ну, вот я слушал, и прям у меня сердце реально как, как, как заклинатель змей, как будто вот это все, вот эти обороты, да, словосочетания, да, и вот эти афоризмы, они, насколько они вообще изумительно подобраны, ну, то есть как-то в них что-то вложено. Помните, когда, когда Рада слышит флейту, она признавала, что он заговорил ее, вот, как, как какой-то мантрой, помните? Да, и вот я реально сейчас это вот ощутил, прям, это за, тан, тантра, тантра. Рада, Рада. Рада Говинда, он sharing that now When Gauranga Sundara was reading this commentary of Ananta Das Babaji, this stunning description how Radhika is anointed with all these um, ointments, with uh, how she is dressed, how the each and every part of her clothing, it's like, uh, it's not the ordinary, it's like the meaning. And for him, this description was like a spell was like a tantric spell, something very powerful, something very magical. And behind the every this description, he felt so much depth and so much sense. And for him, it's like really like some magic. And it reminds him like when Radhika is hearing the foot, uh, flute playing of Krishna, for her it's also like a spell, like, like a magical call of him and like a magic which is dragging her to to him so he's sharing his heart he's sharing his feelings that it's it like very powerful very each and every word of this description was very very powerful yeah yeah He's saying that unbelievably it's like really like like a char uh, like a snake charmer, you know, this like a spells, the magic spells, each word of this commentary. And he's yeah. really stunned, he's saying that I'm stunned, I'm stunned. Yeah. And Guru Dev, how it is beautifully connected this today's morning, rather as a Sudanidhi eighteen and today's midday uh vilapa kusumanjali yeah. 55 yeah. three amritas three bad things we were talking about this morning the russia, russia sangha general Maharaj gave very nice explanation and now it's just just hints it's repeating them 
this commentary. Yeah. Yeah, amazing. <laughs>